everyone, this is Takayu, and this is my eczema blog. Straight from my temple, coming from my dome. I feel the tension, I feel the tension, I feel the tension, I do not have to mention. Guys, I'm back with the list. All right, here's the list of foods, and it may be a little longer, but this is from my research the foods that I've decided to eliminate from my diet. Um, grapes, go figure. Yeah, I was totally surprised. You know, I'm thinking eating fruits and vegetables, and I'm on the right track. But come to find out, grapes, there's some substance in grapes that aggravates eczema. Um, I can get into more detail probably on each specific food later because it's a chemical composition of the food and it's something in each food that will aggravate the eczema as opposed to the foods that have anti-inflammatory effects that soothe the eczema or they may have omega-3 which um, is good for your um, since usually you know when you have eczema you have dry skin omega-3 rich foods help to nourish the skin and the sebaceous glands etc so that's just the basic theory tomato is the next food now I always knew tomato because when I was maybe early 20s I heard a girl who had eczema and she said she couldn't eat tomatoes and that's when the light went off and I realized oh it is certain foods but I thought maybe just acidy foods like just tomatoes you know so that's why grapes threw me off but tomatoes tomato sauce you know. and I realized I can eat small amounts but if I ate a lot I'd start noticing a reaction and the first time I noticed this is when I worked at Pizza Hut of course Pizza Hut so now you know that's the worst place for someone with eczema to work but um pretty much we could eat lunch free there every day so I'd eat personal pan pizza blah 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 and also you could drink whatever soda you wanted at that time I used to actually still drink soda don't drink soda anymore. I drink Zevia, uh, which is um, sugar-free soda, so I don't have any problems with that. But back then, I would drink soda. You know, I didn't have as much, I guess, regulations. But anyway, the soda mixed with the pizza, then uh, it was hot. So mix all the three elements together, and that was a recipe for disaster. So anyway, I figured that one out. Then oranges. I was surprised by this one too. I thought oranges, hey, vitamin C. What harm can it be? But believe it or not, too much oranges can be bad. Um, I also found this out at another job. I had little clues, but I guess I didn't. It wasn't extreme, so I didn't pay attention. I had drank some fresh squeezed orange juice like three days in a row, and I did get a little itching in my mouth. And I was like, mm, I can't drink fresh squeezed orange juice. But I didn't think it was to the extent of eczema. Kiwi. I already knew I couldn't eat kiwi. Same thing happened. Dairy products. This one is a surprise for me because I love eggs. I love cheese. I guess it's a comfort food. But dairy products. Eggs, cheese, milk is a big one for a lot of people. Avocado. We just got into avocados. You know, my husband loves avocados. You know, we started, you know, using it a lot. And I'm like, oh, it's great for this and that. And now I gotta make that one off my list. Dried fruit. Well, I don't eat dried fruit already because it has lots of sugar. But dry fruit. So if you're a dry fruit eater and you got eczema, you might want to rethink it. Deli meats. Now, don't quote me on this. I think it's because it has some sort of nitrates or something in there. But deli meats has some high concentration of, I think it's nitrates. or It's to, to, um, something they probably use to preserve the meats. But deli meats, we did used to like our cold cuts, you know. So, go figure. Corn. Wow. Now, I thought I was being healthy eating popcorn rather than chips. So now, I got to go back to the drawing board again. 
junk food in general, I mean, that's a, that's a no-brainer. Alcohol. Now, I started getting into my rums. Had to rethink it. So, I found out red wines are kind of good. So, I started occasionally using red wines. So, the theory is alcohol, of course, has to be processed by the liver. You need your liver to get rid of toxins. So, if your liver is overly stressed, because a lot of times the eczema is caused by toxins trying to get out of your skin as well. If your liver is overly worked, it can't get rid of the toxins, thus causing you to have more outbreaks. Coffee, not a big coffee drinker. Sorry, Starbucks people, but coffee is, the caffeine is um, irritating to eczema uh, people. And I'll say caffeine. So, well, this is a downer for me, you know. Chocolate. Yes, I'm a recovering chocoholic, so I have to leave the chocolate alone. Stress. And stuff to silicate. So foods with silicates. I'll get more into that in another video. But this is a brief little list of certain foods you might want to avoid if you're an eczema sufferer. Until you can figure out which particular one you're really allergic to. So on the upside, I'll tell you the foods you can eat in my next vlog. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.